I always get very excited when I feel there's been a breakthrough in British cheese. And I have one right in front of me here. Up until now, we haven't really made anything that's the equivalent of an Italian gorgonzola. And the kind of gorgonzola that I love isn't, isn't the picante, the one that I think a lot of people in this country are used to, but the dolce, which is the young gorgonzola, which is soft, creamy, and unctuous. And now we have our own. And I think the marvelous thing about British cheese is that we have, we're now feeling that whatever Europe can do, we can do it as well, if not better. I've got the two cheeses side by side. This is the classic gorgonzola made in Milan. And this is from Cropwell Bishop, producer of very fine Stilton, a new blue called Beauvale. It's called Beauvale because it comes from the Vale of Beaver uh, and was named by the, by the owners who've been trying to develop perhaps a blue that is more in the European tradition not like Stilton and maybe a cheese that we're going to eat not just at Christmas but in the summer and at any time. It's got the most delightful texture. You can see how similar it is in texture to the Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola is much paler and the blue markings are more random but in terms of texture there's very little to choose between the two. They both are really lovely and soft and the Beauvale has an incredibly creamy and um, mellow blue flavour. Not strong in any way, but a real delight. Similar shape and in fact, let's be truthful, it's a very good copy. But it's original in its own way because it's got its very much its own point of difference. It has a British taste because it's British milk made by a very fine British cheese maker. One of the reasons I think that the texture is so good is that the curds are hand ladled. That is a very laborious process, but a very important one, because by handling the curds that way, very gently and very delicately, you get a wonderful creaminess and you get a lovely consistency in your cheese. When it comes to what to drink with it, we must not think about Stilton and Port. I like for people to experiment a bit with what they drink with cheese. Wine can sometimes be too harsh or too strong and perhaps just not sweet enough for cheese. Cheese adores sweet. And so one of the things that I really enjoy is a, a very, very sweet sherry. This one is a muscatel, a, an emmeline, and it's very dark. It's got an intense taste of raisins and is incredibly harmonious with this blue. So I think let's push the boat out and uh, cheers to be British and our version of Gorgonzola.